The farm is humming with life. Tractors in the fields, crews harvesting by hand, teamwork with state-of-the-art equipment. It's a thing of beauty. 302 hectares spread out beneath Petakal Mountain. But to understand what makes this farm so special, you need to start at the beginning. Well, this is a seedling operation. The first step of many, a hand-picked crew hand-seeding thousands of tiny squares. Agriculture manager Alberto Vega. They have this uh, skill, you know. Yeah. Uh, if you try to, to grab some seeds, you, you're going to start to throw or to skip squares, to skip spaces. And they do it very quickly. Just one or two per square, each tray then covered with a thin layer of rich starter soil, custom mixed by hand, then it's off to the nursery. Parsley, sage, kale, broccoli, uh, cress. Just the right temperature, humidity, and watering. After a few weeks here, the seedlings are transplanted in the open field. Their location, planting date, and other key data noted and tracked. It's all on the record. The, the record is uh, for traceability. It covers all, all the seeding. When a crop is ready, a large team harvests it, most often by hand. In this case, watercress. Those large orange crates, sanitized with hot water ahead of time, never allowed to come into direct contact with the ground. You have to record all the information from the, the plot number we are harvesting the crew that was involved, the number of trailers that they received. The trailers arrive at the secure and sanitized intake dock, where safety inspectors check samples, workers carefully weigh it, and then begin the washing process. When the water crates come into this plant, Miguel and his supervisor knows already where this water crisp was harvested, what crew harvested, and everything they have it in doc documentation. A cold bath, then a ride up and into the wash plant, where it's cut, then hand shoveled onto another conveyor into a massive circular dryer. The crew carefully spreading an even layer inside. Next stop, milling, where workers use a high-powered vacuum to bring dried product to the top of a three-tier machine. It shakes and sifts its way to the bottom. After this milling area, it goes directly to the warehouse where the heat treatment plant will do the, the next procedures. Heat treatment is calibrated for each crop, activating its botanical ingredients at just the right temperature. It's then cooled carefully and stored in the warehouse in massive super sacks. The plants here process more than 350,000 kilograms per month. When the time comes, they're loaded onto trucks bound for Neutralite manufacturing centers in the U.S., where the botanicals will be made into the products you buy, sell, and enjoy. At Rancho El Patacal, Chris Copes, WHQ News.